Lilas. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with baby Noah. And Noah is the Willow Sculpt by Claire Teller. He is the prototype number... What number are you? Number two? Are you number two? Yes, you're number two. And <laughs> he's number one for me, but he's actually number two prototype. I am going to get him undressed. <sighs> Lately, I've been like, okay, what am I going to do a video on? What am I going to talk about? And then I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to get on and just give him, get him into something different. I kind of just threw him on this sleeper um, because it was like he needed something on so to speak. I like the sleeper. It's not that I don't like the sleeper. It was a gift. It's a beautiful sleeper. It's just that um, it wasn't, you know, like I had planned it out and you know how it go. But he, I was taking pictures, doing the, the diaper baby picture type thing. And then I said, you know what? I said, I need to put him on some clothes. I didn't want to leave him because it was kind of cool that morning and I was like, I don't want to leave him just in his diaper. So, and Puck had on a sleeper and um, Alex had on her little clothes and everything and I was like, oh, I don't want to leave him un undone. So, I grabbed this sleeper it's one of the first things that caught my eye out of the little basket of clothes that I have for them in my room. Because, like, I have their clothes in their nursery. And then, of course, in my closet, they have a few clothes here or there. All right. So, I just got through watching a video where someone was kind of bummed out that they missed the missed out on the willows again um, and now they're officially sold out I'm sure people will paint them and put them up for sale probably at a very costly price to get them um, I kind of wish that I had got one blank for myself to paint too um, the way I think about that, like, I'm not going to get too deep into that, that subject, but I just want to say that there are only 15 of them in the world. So there's no way possible that everyone was, that one of one was going to get one. It's just, it don't matter which way they were sold. It just was a high chance that you would end up without it because it's only 15. I know, says the lady who has the prototype. But, I mean, it's true. It's just no way that, that, that you, can, you can make it work. Somebody's going to be upset one way or another. Um, unlike, there are people like the ones like you have the Tiana's. That's the never-ending edition that I see like millions. I just seen one artist post about four or five that she's painting you know already after she's already painted like tons of them so it's like you know that addition you know it's probably over 60 70 of those sculpts out here and I don't know if I necessarily like that you know we complain about vinyl being um, these all these new huggy diapers I love them I love them I love the way they feel they are so I know it's probably washed out but they are so soft they they are so soft to touch oh my gosh they are so soft to touch let me see if I can get closer wait 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 oh man it's kind of washed out because the light is like right there my room is so dark I had to let me see if I can maybe see what you guys can see. 
All right, you see that? But they are so soft, so, so soft. Wait, wait, wait. There you are, there you are, there you are. They are so soft. And I just love them. Like, man, they're, they're wonderful. They feel wonderful. They look wonderful. I love it. But, you know, we talk about the vinyls being, like, unlimited or, you know, like, people, like, um, Bonnie Brown does second editions and then, or, you know, some of the, the sculptors do just open editions. And a few of us have said that, you know, we miss the actual true limited editions where, you know, it was maybe limited to 250, 500. You know, the excitement of the chase, it just seemed more of a collectible item to me that way. Um, but when, for someone like Bonnie Brown, she could do whatever she wants because she's an amazing sculptor and there's not many out here that can touch her level of sculpting, right? So I don't care if she does a million of them. I want one because... I just love her work so you know and I have to keep in mind that this is the way these people make a living or for whatever reason they're not doing it as a sport even if they might enjoy it because you can tell that some people enjoy their work by what they put out but still they still are trying to make money so I can't knock how they're doing it but when it comes to silicone I'm just not so sure because of the price level it is and how much they cost and then when you decide to want to you know sell or resell I'm just not sure that I like that same concept for my personal collection you know what I mean like I would probably buy one and paint to sell but for my personal collection I prefer more unique, more rare um, sculpts as far as um, when it comes to silicone. Because the more you have out there, the more accessible they are, the less value they are. Because people think, oh, I'll just wait for the next one. Or I could just get one later. But if it's like sold out and, um, you know, very limited... People are like, um, I better get this one now type thing. So for me, it's a money game when it comes to that, I think. I think if you, you know, that part. On the collecting side, for me, I like to have something that's rare that when I flip to 20 other channels, I'm not going to see the same baby. You know what I mean? Because what's the likelihood of all 15 Willows being on YouTube? You see what I'm saying? So I like that versus, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. Out of all those thousands of Tiana's that's out there, I don't really see a lot of them on YouTube either. But you get what I'm saying. I just like the rare form. Um, and don't get me wrong. I love that. I, I do actually love that baby because I had that baby and I did want it again. So I'm not knocking that one or people that have it because the same way I feel about Bonnie Brown, you know, some people may feel the same way about particular sculpts. So there are those ones that are rare exceptions like Tiana. Apparently everybody likes it and they don't care if it's a million of them. And I'll be quick to say that, you know, I am one that probably would want it but I would go in knowing that the value of that doll would probably not hold as much as a very rare form kit so people can gripe and complain and say what they want but that the truth remains everybody knows that the more rare it is the harder it is to get the more people value it so anyway that's just my take on that um, I'd love to hear what you guys think again on this, um, about the, um, limited edition for silicone. Like, do you, would you like it to be an open edition? 
Because, like I said, I wouldn't mind if, you know, some editions are open, some are very limited. That would be nice, you know, if not every single edition was limited to only 10 or 15. And some was, you know, like just until the mold breaks. I kind of like that idea. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like that idea sometimes because of like some of the people that were upset about the willow, you know, or other kits that we've missed out on because they're numbered. It will give them an opportunity to be able to get that kit that they really love. Um, so I really, I really like that idea from that standpoint so i'm just talking from all areas you know that's that's just my take on it isn't he adorable he's so freaking cute um so i like that he can suck his two fingers on that hand he sucked his thumb on the other hand it's so cute but um but yeah so i really you know we can look at it from all different angles and Lately, I've just been trying to find a positive in a lot of stuff. Um, you know, we life has so much ups and downs, and it's so much going on with a lot of people, including myself. You know, there's times where things get really tight, things get hard. You know, you're trying to get through. I don't need to add to it by, you know, busting a blood vessel over something within my doll um, addiction. <laughs> I, I like to call it a hobby, but it's really an addiction. Um, so, and I, listen, let me say this before people say, I'm, you know, saying that people are getting upset about it. That's not what I'm saying, I'm just saying in general. So I've just been trying to find positives and help my friends find positives in things because like I said, it's just so much going on in the world. And, you know, your personal life that, you know, you just don't want to dwell on the small stuff so much. Um, it's just like I was listening back to a lot of my videos lately. And I sound like a bitter bat, you know. Um, you know, every time you hear me talking about the babies now and stuff like that. And, you know, wanting a new baby. And, you know, wanting this and wanting that. Because I do want a new baby. I want... A new reborn or a new silicone or something but I just haven't been able to do it um, for one it's hard to find that's a whole nother subject Two, financially it's just not feasible right now but I've been spending so much time whining and complaining about the price of stuff and the cost and everything is going up and now well guess what Lola you guys know just like I know these prices ain't never been cheap They've been going up for years, and the only time I whine about it is when I'm broke. When I can afford it, I'm like, oh, guys, guess what? Claire Teller has a new baby out. Oh my gosh, I'm going after it. Look at me, watch me go, baby, go. And then, soon as I get broke and I can't afford, you know, the next possible doll or the next doll or, you know, the doll that I see up for auction, I'm like, you know, it really sucks that now I'll never be able to afford a new Claire Taylor doll. You know, it really sucks how high the prices have gone. I mean, I could literally buy a car or a house or a husband. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe not a husband. Okay, but you get what I'm saying? Like, and I know some of you guys have been listening to me going, yeah, mm-hmm. Soon as that heifer can get a, get her hands on a new baby, she's going to be acting like she wasn't just broke five minutes ago. Anyway, that's just me self-reflecting. Plus, I've been told I actually happen to have a friend in the community that likes to point out all my stuff that I do. So, And it kind of helps me, too, a little bit. It kind of puts me back on track sometime because, you know, I don't really know how crazy I sound some days. So anyway, we all need a friend that'll tell you the truth and not what you want to hear. I don't know, but some of you guys like people blowing smoke up your butt all day. You kind of get some kind of high off of that or something. I don't know, maybe the smoke goes up to your brain and I don't know, like kind of woozy. I don't know. Anyway, I'm silly. Um, plus, never mind. 
Okay, so let's talk about something else and I'm gonna do that in the next video. If you guys don't mind, I will be right back. Oh yeah, please don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your friends and I should have said that in the beginning, but if you made it to the end, say I made it. <laughs>